Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I have a little book haul. I was gonna say little, but it's not that little. We have a haul of some used books and also some books that are the UK covers because today we are going to judge a book by its cover because some other country covers are superior. Let's just get into it. It's starting to rain, so we'll see if it starts downpouring. Hopefully you can't hear it. So the bulk of this book haul are UK editions of books that I want to read. I got these off of the book depository. I've ordered from them before. They came from the UK and they didn't take too long to arrive, which is good. I think they took a little bit over a week to arrive, which isn't that bad, especially considering Brexit and COVID and all of that. First, let's discuss the one that really kicked it all off, Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. I have also previously purchased Normal People by Sally Rooney, the UK edition. I bought this from Book Depository before it was even out in the US, so I like really hunted this one down and I'm glad I did because this cover is so much better than the US one. Connell and Marianne in the sardine can like it's so beautiful I just think that this cover evokes like the feelings of the book more and it's like a little bit vague which I like I just the illustration is so nice so I knew that I wanted conversations with friends because again the US cover is not cute I just really enjoy these illustrations of the girls with the stroke kind of covering their eyes just the whole design of it is nicer and then it'll look really good next to my normal people. I'm excited to read this. I'm also scared because I really want to love it. I love normal people. It is my religion. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that this one doesn't let me down. And I'm also really excited that Sally Rooney has a new book coming out this year. So I definitely want to get to this one before that one comes out. I can read her whole oeuvre. Another one that I knew like I needed this edition because the US cover is not it, My Dark Vanessa. Look at this cover. I really do have a thing for hair going through text. Um, I'm also thinking about Queenie. That cover is so cool. The illustration is awesome. Love how the font kind of disappears behind the hair and the My Dark is the same color as the background and then the Vanessa and it just really pops against the pink and like ready kind of hair tones. It's just so beautiful. I was texting one of my friends and I said that the US version looks like a moody high school art student's project and I can say that because it looks like some of my old art in high school. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think if I saw that in a bookstore versus this, we know which one I would be picking up. The Hating Game. I almost said by Sally Rooney. It's not by Sally Rooney, it's by Sally Thorne. I have already read this, but on my ebook and I saw this cover and I thought it was cuter. So I wanted to get it and I have already reread it since buying it. So it was worth the purchase. I don't really love weird design critique here. The like kind of speckly texture on the title and on the author's name. I don't really understand the purpose of that. Like, I don't think it goes with theme of the book and like the plot. Yeah, I just don't understand that. But overall, very cute. I will show the US cover so you can have a side by side. Next, the last one is so gorgeous. It is Writers and Lovers. I've been interested in this book for a little while, but seeing this cover really sold me on it. I really like the typeface. This illustration is so pretty. I just really, really love the illustration style of this. Side note, I really like her sweater. But um, here's the US cover compared to the UK version. Again, this one just looks like one that I would be more keen to pick up compared to the other one. So those are all of the UK editions that I got. Let me know if you have any strong opinions on the US versus the UK cover. I'm ready to debate in the comments. I also stopped into Second and Charles recently. It's a mainly used bookstore. They do have some new titles, but both of the ones I got were secondhand. The first one I found was in the display that was like film and TV adaptations, and it is My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. I became aware of this book when the series got made of it, but my friend Maddie 
has read it and she really loves it and she has personally recommended it to me. She thinks that I will enjoy it. So I'm hoping that I do. And if I do enjoy it, there's a whole series that I can get into. And then I can also watch the show. Let's just talk about it though. This cover is ugly. Moving on. The second book I got from Second and Charles is The Idiot. I love this cover. Let's talk about it. The like millennial pink, the rock, the serif font. Again, this is another one that's been on my TBR for a while. I feel like secondhand books are really good for those types of books that are on your TBR, but you're not necessarily wanting to go and pay full price for them. Is that bad? They stand out to you and then you're like, oh, maybe I will finally read that. It kind of matches my water bottle. The last book I got is actually from Costco and it's got an annoying sticker on it, but it is Black Buck. I believe this is a fairly recent release. I'm especially interested in this book because I've heard it sometimes compared to the movie Sorry to Bother You, which that movie is like so good, so weird, such a total trip. Um, so I'm very curious to see like what the execution of that is going to be. And let's talk about it. The cover is beautiful. This like hand lettering looks so nice. I love the color choices and the side is also super cool. So that is everything in this little book haul. All beautiful, well-designed covers, except maybe one. Sorry, Elena. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that and my little design rants for each of them. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you know every time I post, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.